millions of women, millions of girls, are moving from villages to cities, from one country to another country, seeking employment as domestic workers. And as more women and girls enter this kind of employment, we need to make sure that they're properly protected. A domestic worker is someone who's basically helping a family run their household. They cook, they clean, they take care of children, they do laundry, they do shopping, they may care for elderly people in the household. And because domestic workers are hidden in private households, they're uniquely isolated and very vulnerable to all kinds of abuse, beatings, sexual harassment, and even rape. This is what human rights organizations say is taking place unchecked in a number of Lebanese homes. Abuse and violence against domestic workers. Al Jazeera spoke to a Sri Lankan woman currently living in a shelter. Her story began when her employer found her crying in her room. Her identity is hidden for her own protection. My madam asked me why I was crying. I said I haven't seen my family in two years and I asked you if I can go home to Sri Lanka, but you won't give me an answer. That's when she hit me with a plate and broke my nose. Many governments do not recognize domestic workers as workers. They may consider them helpers or outside of formal employment, and so they exempt them from their laws. It is perfectly legal in many places for an employer to ask their domestic worker to labor for 15 to 18 hours a day, seven days a week, with no benefits, and usually at a wage that's a fraction of the prevailing minimum wage. Some people think that domestic work is, you know, no big deal. They don't see that it can be exploitative or abusive. But think about performing those tasks hour after hour, from 6 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night, never having a break, never having even 5 or 10 minutes to yourself. In the Philippines, they promised that I have day off, but now in, I'm here, they don't let me have day off. I cannot sleep, they don't let me have a rest, yeah, have a food, but how to work without the strength. A lot of domestic workers begin working when they're very young. Girls will start when they're 11 or 12, or in some cases even at younger ages, at 7 or 8. Many of them are girls from very poor rural areas, and they see domestic work as an opportunity for a better life. But too often the reality is completely different. <laughs> This is a woman named Kenny Binti Karda, and her employer had just subjected her to the most gruesome forms of abuse over a long period of time, where she was burned all over her body. You know, she's going to have scars for the rest of her life. In some countries, there are deaths among domestic workers, either because they're trying to escape their employers or they commit suicide because they are so unhappy. One question that we often hear is, why do these women keep on coming for this type of work? And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is because they have no other options at home. In many cases, they've taken out huge loans just to migrate abroad, and there is such financial pressure to repay those loans. Almost all migrant domestic workers in Asia and the Middle East have their passports taken away from them. If they run away from their employers, they are at risk of being arrested and deported. Domestic workers have become powerhouses on behalf of their rights, speaking up, demanding rights, and saying, we will not stop until we are recognized. On June 16, the members of the International Labor Organization adopted a new convention for domestic workers. For the first time, we now have global standards that recognizes domestic workers are, in fact, entitled to basic labor rights. They have won a remarkable victory. Domestic work is a critical source of employment for millions of women and girls around the world. Many of them take great pride in what they do. Raising children, cleaning homes, 
cooking. I mean, these are the things that are the daily fabric of our lives and involve the most important parts of our lives. We need to make sure that these workers receive the dignity, the decent treatment, the salaries, and the respect that they deserve.